This is how to crochet the wide waffle stitch. We are going to start with multiples of four, and in this case, I'm using 31 chains and a 5.5 millimeter hook, as well as medium or worsted weight yarn. Then we are going to work into the fourth chain from the hook and add a double crochet into it. And then we're going to continue to add a double crochet into every single chain all the way until the end. That is all that is happening in this video. So if you want to go ahead and move on to part two, you are very welcome to do so now. If you want to crochet along with me, I will have the rest of the video here so we can work on it together. But if you decided to stick around, hi friend, I am a little bit congested, um, it's just a head cold, but if I end up sounding different, it is probably because I paused the voiceover to blow my nose, um, but I, I hope that's okay. I am also wanting to do things a little bit differently, I couldn't think of any crochet tips right now, so, um... I thought I could share some personal reflections. If uh, you're not into that, then um, you can always mute the video. But I found a YouTube channel, actually, and she shares some of her reflections on life, and I really enjoy it. So I thought I could do the same. I also know I've been a little absent lately. Um, the kids were out of school last week, and actually, so... My nails are a little bit shorter, um, I don't know if you can tell, but I got my nails done a few months, weeks ago, weeks ago now, and they damaged them pretty, pretty badly, so for the foreseeable future, my nails are just going to be short until they can heal and grow back, and I kind of like it, it's a little more subtle. And I've had some people complain about my nails being distracting, so we'll see. Maybe this will be better. I definitely noticed that having longer nails with beautiful colors is definitely nice, but the maintenance is pretty hard to keep up with sometimes. Um, I ended up doing my own nails for a while because I always got the gel nail polish, but it turns out that your hands aren't necessarily made for gel nails. Uh, the UV light can be very damaging to the skin around your nails and the nail bed itself. And um, the filing process of getting the nail polish off, which is how my nails got damaged this last time, can um, really make them brittle. And I noticed that my nails were breaking off more frequently. So we're going to go a little bit more of a natural route. But that's it for this part. You can go ahead and move on to part two. If you enjoy these kind of close-up stitch tutorials, be sure to like and follow. I post them as much as I can. Uh, not every day anymore because I'm trying to increase the quality. If uh, you have any recommendations on how I could make it better, I really appreciate it. I've always appreciated them. And I will see you in part two.